Hey, hello, good morning, guys, and this is Connie with Gotham, and guys, today, in this level, we are going to do the level, Walk on Wall. So, we have to battle our classmates while gobbling up gems. So, you have to use your programming skills and creative thinking to gain an edge over friends. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so today we are just going to play this and for the other guys who watch my videos, this isn't the normal code combat league, this is a different code combat league. And this is the one which you can play with your friends. So for with on my thing I have all the AIs and some of my classmates from from like 2019 and I have some of the AIs and some of my classmates. So yeah, today we will talk about strategies to get the best, get the best strategy and win over your friends easily. So once you beat the computer, you can play against other players. So this computer is just an easy person which combines like almost all the code. And we have me, we have me versus Silver AI. And I will just give you one thing at the start. Soldier, sorry, the, the humans team has a very, very good start because their archers, so if we go over here, their archers and their soldiers do more damage. So our thrower does 6.6 .6 damage, archer does 26, scout does 24, soldier does 12, but he has lots of health. He could... This this person would take about eight. This person would take about not eight to ten hits to hit him, depending on the soldier's health. And the thrower would take up the thrower would take like about four to five hits to kill 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 the archer, and the archer would only take one hit to kill the thrower. So sometimes there is a very big edge, but on the ogre team you can feel the brawler. He is the star of the show. He has 500 health speed, slow, but he makes up for that in damage. Damage, he could one-shot all of these guys, except the soldier. The soldier would take two hits, but he could one-shot almost everyone. But the paladin, it is a match for the paladin, but the old brawler has the ups, the, the, the higher, the higher, the higher hand. So first we have ogres and scouts go against each other. I come over here and I free my archers and my paladins. I go up here, which because I also forgot to tell you a thing. These things increase by well. So we have just a gem, a small gem pile, a medium gem pile, and then we have a chest, which is okay. So um, so we saw that, and the hot chest contains. 100 of 100 of these gems and with these gems we can summon units that can help us overpower the enemy so then we have doors we can break doors just for units or we could get this health potion which gives us speed times two speed so i i summon lots of soldiers all my soldiers go on to take the brawler. Take some time, but in the meantime, while I defend myself from the brawler, we see that Silver AI just stopped. But she moves down, but she can't afford anything. And now she has a hundred. Then she tries to afford anything, but the second she summons something, we kill the scout and Silver AI. So, what my strategy here was that. Gets lots of gems, go to the piles, free my two friends, go up, and if I had more time, I would like go through a rotation of all the medium piles. Because medium, if you just rotate through this, like take this, take this, take this, take this, you can see my cursor. If you get a hold of this, they would be like worth about like four to five, three to four chests. So the areas over here and over here are very, very important. And if you're feeling risky, you could go with the chance, get the speed potion, 
So what I'm saying is that go down to F, get the speed potion, come out on E. This might be risky because some enemies might be clashing at E or some enemies might be following you at F. So this is kind of a gamble, but it's worth it. So once you have the speed potion, we can easily collect all these. And we can even collect the hunter chest. And we could summon lots of units with that. And that would give us the upper hand, but we have to take a small risk. So the more risk you take, the more amount of success. Okay. So that is my tactic. There are some other tactics that are like this is this is one tactic that I tried, which is kind of useful, but not against the AIs. So what I do is I just get the gold, wait. Like, I stand over here in this area, and then I summon lots of units. And then, once I have lots of people coming for me, because we only, uh, once they have lots of people coming for me, I come down here, break open my two archers and my paladin, and then, and then I come down here, and then I summon all the units I can after taking all this gold. This could be a very useful strategy. And I just, you can try it on your own. Because sometimes you have to take the risk too. And there's also some things that we need to know about. You could use these intersections to run away from your enemy and this is what i always say always be on the move because if we go against like one of the ais for example we go against uh i do not know what happened okay so for example we go against uh one of the best ais let's go against silver ai which I've just won against. So I'll go against Platinum AI because Platinum is good. So gold, Platinum, gold, silver, bronze, and yeah. So first I'll go against Platinum and then I'll go against Diamond. So okay, so first we have our Platinum. And I'm just saying you can go Team Humans, but Team Ogres has the brawler. Team Humans has the most overall. Overall good things, but if you go team ogres, you would get lots of good things So you could also steal some AI ideas from the AIs. He just summon scouts scouts come for you Then my soldiers come to counter him. I have two soldiers versus two scouts And The soldiers win with one soldier left and we have like she sit there uses my strategy of taking everything but then I just sit here and I summon lots of units. And then that is enough to take down. But then I see the brawler coming after me. So then what I do is I go here. Go down. I sh if it would have been a too late. I would have been punched by the brawler and almost one hit. But now as we can see that my army is wrecking everyone else and then my army makes their way to platinum ai who does the same mistake as me and my soldiers easily end platinum ai and while the brother is almost about to kill me i am like saved so that is it you could use that strategy too you could like you could like spam spawn after you get enough gems that also works that is actually kind of an effective strategy but not efficient or you could like strategically like get it down to like the facts like strategically like summon them like summon some over here some over here corner your hero in the end of one of the walls and that is also an effective strategy cornering the hero is one of the most things that have been done you corner your hero so that is basically almost everything, every strategy, every single game you play leads to cornering the enemy hero. Even with Silver AI, I had him cornered at the edge because he didn't move and he was busy summoning. And now I have, I have Platinum AI pinned to a wall and then my soldiers get him. So yeah, this is true. So pinning your enemy is a very big thing to have here. That is just one of the main things you have to note. And that are all the main things to note. So, yeah, let's just re revisit what we learned. <sighs> These sides of 
the arena are very good for diamonds. You could strategically break open doors according to your place. So you can risk for the speed potion, but it helps you get coins faster. Pinning your enemy is one of the best things to do and the only way to kill your enemy. Unless you get lucky and she stops or... Yeah, that's the only way you can get it if there's an actually functioning person. And these are all the things you have to do to be successful in Waka Mall. If you have any new strategies, you can comment down the video so other people can use it. And yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. This is Coding with Gotham, and I will see you next time. Have a great day, and enjoy your, and enjoy your week.